Silicon Valley is reinvention, disruption, blowing up old ways of thinking, and proposing new ones. But certain things you can't blow up. Human nature doesn't change, regardless of what you're building, where you live, how old you are, how wealthy, or not. And over the last 30-plus years, I've seen what humans need to reach their potential, to disrupt what needs disrupting, to forge their own unorthodox path. So I'm here to write about a leadership style that I've seen win time and time again, about how my mentors and Steve Jobs did it, about how I do it, about being a troublemaker, a shit stirrer. This isn't the only way to make something worth making, but it's my way. And it's not for everyone. I'm not going to be preaching progressive, modern organizational theory. I'm not going to tell you to work two days a week and retire early. The world is full of mediocre, middle-of-the-road companies creating mediocre, middle-of-the-road crap. But I've spent my entire life chasing after the products and people that strive for excellence. I've been incredibly lucky to learn from the best, from bold, passionate people who made a dent in the world. I believe everyone should have that chance. That's why I wrote this book. Everybody trying to do something meaningful needs and deserves to have a mentor and coach, someone who's seen it, and done it, and can hopefully help you through the toughest moments in your career. A good mentor won't hand you the answers, but they will try to help you see your problem from a new perspective. They'll loan you some of their hard-fought advice so you can discover your own solution. And it's not just tech entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley who deserve some help. This book is for anyone who wants to create something new, who is chasing excellence, who doesn't want to waste their precious time on this precious planet. I'm going to talk a lot about building a great product, but a product doesn't have to be a piece of technology. It can be anything you make, a service, a store. It could be a new kind of recycling plant. And even if you're not ready to make anything yet, this advice is still meant for you. Sometimes the first step is just figuring out what you want to do, getting a job you're excited about, building the person you want to become, or building a team that you can build anything with. This book isn't trying to be a biography. I'm not dead yet. It's a mentor in a box. It's an advice encyclopedia. If you're old enough to remember a time before Wikipedia, you might recall the joy of the literal wall of encyclopedias on your bookshelf or your grandparents' study or deep inside the bowels of the library. You'd go to it if you had a specific question. But once in a while, you'd also just open it up and start reading. A for aardvark. You'd follow along and see where you ended up, reading straight through or hopping around, discovering little snapshots of the world. That's how you should think of this book. You can listen straight through from beginning to end. You can poke around to find the advice and stories that are most interesting or useful in your current career crisis. Because there's always a crisis, either personally, organizationally, or competitively. You can follow the See Also links sprinkled throughout the book, just like you'd click through on Wikipedia. Dig deeper into any topic and see where it takes you. Most business books have one basic thesis that they spend 300 pages expanding on. If you're looking for a range of good advice on various topics, you might need to read 40 books, skimming endlessly to find the occasional nugget of useful information. So for this book, I just collected the nuggets. Each chapter has advice and stories informed by the jobs, mentors, coaches, managers, and peers I've had, and the countless mistakes I've made. Since this is my advice based on my experience, this book roughly follows my career. We go from my first job out of college and end up where I am now. Every step, every failure, taught me something. Life didn't begin with the iPod. But this book isn't about me. Because I didn't make anything. I was just one of the people on the teams that made the iPod, iPhone, the Nest Learning Thermostat, and Nest Protect. I was there, but I was never there alone. This book is about what I've learned, typically the hard way. And to understand the things I've learned, you should probably know a bit about me. So here goes. 1969. The usual start. I was born, and by preschool we started moving. My dad was a salesman for Levi's, and we were always on the road seeking the next denim gold mine. I went to 12 schools in 15 years. 
1978 to 1970.